Submerged groins for beach stabilisation. My name is Lex Nielsen and I'd like to acknowledge my co-author Ben Modra who undertook the scale modelling work on a practical application at the Manly Hydraulics Laboratory. In this presentation, I'll describe what are submerged groins, present some results from some scale model testing that has been done, and I'll present a practical application of submerged groins done here in Sydney. I'll describe the problem, the design features of the groin solution, um, the mobile bed scale modelling that we did, the impact of submerged groins on seagrasses, and the prototype performance. At the end, we'll make some conclusions. So what are submerged groins? Well, they are groins that extend far offshore but underwater. So, and they have been used quite a bit in the UK, mainly on shingled beaches. So why do we have submerged groins? Well, the main reason really is that they allow rip currents which form along the sides of all groins to expand over their crests thereby they lose their power to transport sand too far offshore, which prevents sand from being lost from the groin compartment. The sheet piling has a small footprint and thereby it minimises impacts on the seabed. And they can be less obtrusive than submerged groins. Modelling done at the hydraulics research station at Wallingford for emergent groins has shown quite clearly how rip currents form along their sides and take sand to, to be deposited offshore of the groins and hence out of the groin compartment. Some hydraulic modelling done at the Danish Hydraulics Institute shows that if we extend a groin offshore as a submerged groin, then the rip current velocity that moves along the side of the groin expands beyond the tip of the emerged section of the groin, and the velocities reduce quite markedly. As shown here in these model results, the velocities have reduced from prototype values of 0.8 metres per second to around about 0.3 metres per second. A submerged groin solution has been applied at a rather protected beach at Port Botany in New South Wales, just on the southern part of Sydney. The beach had eroded really quite severely under swell waves which penetrate the bay and refract and diffract onto the beach here, causing quite severe erosion. And as shown here, um, the beach had receded quite markedly, threatening uh, built assets, including um, a walkway that had been constructed behind the beach. The other issue at Port Botany was that eroded sand on the beach really blocked the outfalls of stormwater drains, which caused quite significant flooding in the streets of Botany behind the beach. The proposed solution was to construct three groins, two of them encasing the stormwater pipes in rock and extending them out into the bay. And with the three groins made of plastic fibre reinforced sheet piling, extending much farther out into the bay. These fibre reinforced plastic extensions were non-corrosive and they had a small footprint which had a minimal impact on seagrass meadows that existed farther offshore in the bay. 
This is a side elevation of the middle groin, which did not encase a stormwater pipe. But as you can see, it extended underwater really quite a long distance offshore. And it was easy to install, being lightweight fiber reinforced plastic. It had a very small footprint, and but was strong and did not corrode. We undertook scale model testing, and as you can see on the left-hand picture, this was the beach with the scale modeling done without any groins installed. And it's quite clear the erosion that was occurring at the far end of this beach, um, which was causing the problems. In the right-hand diagram, uh, the results of the scale modeling done with three submerged groins in place. The beach was modelled with about four millimetre diameter plastic beads and it was used in an attempt to determine what would be the beach alignments that would form within these groin compartments. So this picture shows the beach following the groin construction and the photo was taken around about mid-tide. And these yellow marker poles are about halfway along the groin extensions. In the nearest groin, you can see the rockwork extension encasing the stormwater pipes, whereas the middle groin has no extension whatsoever. There's a small extension in the farthest groin encasing a stormwater pipe there. Some three years after the groins were constructed, the beach has shaped very close to what was predicted with the mobile bed scale modeling. As we can see from the modeling results, the uh, beach shapes formed uh, were close to w what occurred in the field. So in conclusion, the, the novel fibre reinforced plastic sheet piling submerged groin field has been used to stabilise foreshore road beach on the northern shores of Botany Bay. Features of the groin field include that on the high tides and with storm surge, they're submerged, which obviates the impact of rip currents taking sand too far offshore from the beach. The minimal footprint of the structures obviates any significant impact on offshore seagrass meadows. And the sheeting is non-corrosive and easy to install. Small scale basin modeling using plastic mobile bed sediments predicted well the medium term wave generated plan form shape of the beach. To our knowledge, this is the first installation of submerged groins in Australia. Thank you for your attention. I'll be happy to address any questions. Thank you.